Everybody's heard the same, you know, you know, go, you know, good night, don't let the bed bugs bite. But, you know, I never really knew or dealt with bed bugs until, you know, maybe 10 years ago is when we really started seeing them show up. This here is a, this here is a, a well-fed adult. This is a not so well-fed adult. That's how far they will expand. And that's all blood in there. We describe them a lot of times as apple seed. Now, a lot of people ask you what they look like. Well, an apple seed. And it, when I see an apple seed, I, that's the first thing I think of because that looks just like a bed bug to me. Even in an apple, I'm like, you know. <laughs> if I see an apple seed somewhere, you know, that's the first thing I'm gonna think of. Because it's about, the, about that color. It, I mean, they're, you know, they molt. And they'll be lighter and they'll be darker when they when they have a blood meal they they, they become dark Kyrie Irving anybody know Kyrie Irving may have seen the story on CNN or on the news Kyrie Irving point guard for Cavaliers he gets he he gets up one night and he sees about five bed bugs on him on his bed you know he's staying at a, at a Hilton hotel and uh, he plays the next day. He goes out, warms up, and starts playing. About two minutes in, you know, he gets hot, so he starts starts itching. So he freaks out and he can't play. It's an NBA player, right? It makes national news. You know, <laughs> two days later, Hilton issues a public apology to him, obviously to save face. But you, know, you, you see that you know these are a problem. He's talking about uh, he, cabins, you know, people, anywhere people turn over a lot. Of, you know, there's a lot of people come in and, and out. They can have this. They're, they're tremendous hitchhikers. They'll cling on to about anything. It's not the mattress typically we find bed bugs in. It's typically the mattress we find bed bugs on, but typically where you find bed bugs is in the box spring. So as I'm doing all this research and looking for what to talk about, this, this comes up, a new Lyme's disease. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to quit. <laughs> this is getting a little crazy. A brand new Lyme's disease, mo mostly, most of your Lyme's disease is spotted by just the redness. And it doesn't, it's not associated with, with uh, nausea and vomiting at all. Part of the problem with diagnosis was the fact that it was just a, a red spot. It looks kind of like a target. Brand new, just out last month. So if you, you like to hunt and you like to walk through the woods, here's your new, here's your new one. <laughs> lint brush is a great way to, after you've been, take a lint brush and run it over you. Or just take your clothes and throw them in a dryer. One thing that bugs cannot stand is heat. If you get that, if you get if you get a bug up to 120 degrees for any period of time, it's going to kill it. So that's becoming the recommended uh, treatment for bed bugs. Fire ants, another thing that we didn't deal with. You know, we heard about them. They were down south. They will never get up here. Whew, wrong. I don't know if you can see this or not. Right here. That was personal experience, right there. <laughs> In the middle of a building, had ants going across an expansion joint. I pulled up the carpet, didn't even think about it. Ants going everywhere, still didn't even think about it. I'm sitting there looking at them, and all of a sudden, I get this bite on my finger, and I'm going, oh, I know what that is. Fire ants right in the middle of the building. So, it can, they can become, uh, they, they become a, quite a nuisance in, because they, they like protein and they come, become a nuisance in nursing homes and elderly care because they, they, they can't really tell people that what's happening. So you can imagine, oh, can you see that pretty well? It's like a pimple. It's what it looks like. And if you get 100 fire ant bites on you, you'll know it. I mean, it looks, looks just like a pimple. I don't know if you can see it or not. That scar is still there. That was, a, that was over, a little over a month ago. It was, 
just a fluke, you know. I knew, as soon as it bit me, I knew what it was. So once you've been bit by them, they, and, they, and they give off a pheromone. So they'll, they'll, you know, they'll climb all over you. Then one of them bites you, he, sit, he gets, sets off that pheromone. They all bite at the same time, bam. That's why they're called fire ants, because it just feels like all of a sudden you, you, you've been on fire. These mounds vary to soil type. So if it's in a mulch, they'll look like the mulch. Once you see one, though, in your soil type around your house, you'll, you'll, see, it, you'll see more of them. It's, it's kind of funny. You can be looking over a piece of uh, landscape, a field, or, or a, a area that's been landscaped, and you won't see them. And then you'll see one. And then all of a sudden, after you see that one and see that color type, if you go and start looking, you'll see two or three. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting how it, the, they, they blend into the, with the soil type and the other things that are around. Uh, typically, they get about as tall as the grass because what they're trying to do is build this mound up out of this grass so that they can bring their brood up here. They're, they're young. Brown recluse spiders. Dr. Reichert at the University of Tennessee said, there's no natural brown recluse spiders. She said that to me 20 years ago. And I was like, okay, but we've got them. <laughs> she said, but they're not natural. I'm like, okay, doesn't matter to me because I'm trying to control them. Doesn't matter if they're natural or not, I've got them, what do we do with them? So we started studying and found out there was one certain species of brown recluse that we had here. That, Luckily, typically don't bite people. And we have had people bitten by brown recluse spiders, but uh, this species is called, they're, they're reclusive for, I mean, that's the purpose. They, they will stay away from most people, but you will see them. They're hunters, so you'll see them out and they will be out. And if you work in a warehouse or a warehouse type area where that you handle boxes a lot or that come in from different areas, uh, something you need to be aware of because they can get in boxes and they can ship them in and they ship them all over the place. You know, that's how we get these wonderful things. Uh, distinctive about brown recluse spiders is obviously, you know, the fiddle, but the other thing is uh, sets of eyes. You know, they see, they have three distinct sets of eyes and um, some have as many as six sets of eyes. So you know, if you've ever seen a really, really close up of a, Spider's eyes, it's rather amazing that one eye is looking that way and one eye is looking that way. Other eyes are, <laughs> and they, they could see, you know, when you go to step on one and he moves, you're like, how can he move that fast? Well, he probably sees you before you see him. The other spider that, is, that we have around here that we deal with quite often is obviously the black widow. Black widow can be black or it can be brown or it can be other colors. There are brown widow spiders that we've started finding in this area. Again, probably brought in from somewhere, made this their home. A wolf spider, uh, it's more, more or less a grass spider that you see a lot of times. They will make a very distinct web. Uh, interesting thing about uh, black widow spider, if you're ever outside and you walk into a spider web that's really, really strong, then start looking for something, because that's typically, I mean, they're, it's, it's, if you ever, really run into one and you know it is a black widow's web it's it's amazing how much stronger a black widow web is than any other any other spider web asian lady beetles marmorated stink bugs keep going i'm just and these are all things that that we've run into uh this is a new one kudzu bug i don't know if you've seen it or not you don't want to see it that little thing He's about a quarter of your size of your little finger. And uh, I actually happened to be part of the one of the first ones we found in Knox County. And they threw it in my trash can in my office. One. The next morning I opened the door and I was like, what in the world has happened in here? Found it, took it out, took it to Karen Vale to identify and found out that it was the first one we'd found. 
retreat before. July, August, September, for Lady Asian Beetles, Mama Red Stink Bugs, Kudzu Bugs. What happens is, about that time, weather starts changing, right? Weather starts changing and they start looking for a place to overwinter. Well, their natural habitat for all three of those are caves. So they're flying along and they see these big black windows that look like caves. <laughs> it's, it is the season for ants and, and termites. And the reason I put this slide in here was basically because if I get calls every year, I've got termites or I've, you know, somebody brings a bag by and it's laying on my desk when I get back and I'm going, it has no note or it's just, well, it's just laying there. And I'm like, I look at it and it's usually, you know, it's one or the other. And they, somebody will come back by and say, did you get that bag that was laying on your desk? Uh, good news for you is it was ants. <laughs> or the bad news for you, it's termites. So basically the easiest way to tell is the segmented body. Termites do not have a segmented body. They can lose their wings, and they will lose their wings very easily. So that's another way. If you if you got something that's got a lot of wings on it, and they've all got their wings on, and you don't see a bunch of wings laying around, then it's typically ants. Now, on the other hand, if you go into a closet and you open the door and wings start flying everywhere, you can pretty much guarantee that's that's termites. The other thing that's characteristic about termites, if you're a carpenter or you're working in wood or you're outside termites always bring mud into the wood always ants typically will gallery the wood they will vacate the wood it'll be just wood it might be galleries it looks just like termites but it they won't have they won't have mud in it ants aren't dependent on the moisture termites are dependent on the moisture so they pack it with mud keep the moisture. It actually grows a algae in the tunnels that feed them, that help feed them, keeps the moisture level high. 